take out that piece of paper or that whiteboard and we're gonna do this on a, the version of a cocktail napkin version. Draw a, an oval or a circle for me. So the penis is a very simple organ. No man likes when I say this to him, but it comprises three tubes. Two erectile bodies with, that fill with blood to get an erection and the urethra, the tube that you urinate out of. Now, in order to get an erection, there are two main arteries that fill with blood, that bring blood into that erectile tissue, and those arteries are called the cavernosal arteries. Then you have the dorsal arteries, and those sit on the top of the penis, and those give blood supply to the glands of the penis or the tip of the penis. Then you have venous drainage. So um, the, you have blood flow coming in, and then you have veins that drain that blood out. And then you have nerves that sit on top of the penis. Now I'm going to better illustrate perhaps in a cross section, if you can see this, of what this anatomy looks like. So this is kind of cutting your body in half and looking at the anatomy. So we have a reptile body here, the urethra, that tube that you urinate out of here. You have the nerves that sit on top top of the penis right here, and then you have that darn prostate. And some of the patients that we're gonna talk about tonight are those who have had prostate cancer and they've had their prostate removed. And that's important because the cavernous nerves that are responsible for erections, well, wow, they sit right on that prostate. And so whenever you do any pelvic radiation or surgery on that prostate, because of that possible nerve injury, you can have a drop in sexual function. 